Until now, we've only concerned ourselves with single gases in a sample. In section 7.7, .7, we'll learn how to calculate the properties of multiple gases in a sample. Specifically, we'll learn about Dalton's law of partial pressures and how to use mole fractions to accomplish these calculations. Let's begin. A mixture of gases follows the same laws as a pure gas that is composed of only one substance. Dalton's law of partial pressures states that the total pressure of the mixture is equal to the sum of the individual pressures of the components of a gaseous mixture. P total equals P1 plus P2 all the way through P sub N, the last gas in the mixture. The individual pressure, P1, P2, P3, of each component of a mixture is referred to as a partial pressure. Let's work an example together. A mixture of gases contains oxygen at a pressure of 726 torr and neon at a pressure of 44 torr. What is the total pressure of the mixture? We use P total equals the partial pressure of oxygen plus the partial pressure of neon equals 726 torr plus 44 torr equals 770 torr. To make sure all three significant figures are counted, we add a decimal point behind the zero. Here's a problem for you to try. We're going to start with a container that has a partial pressure of gas A at 46 kilopascals. We're adding gas B to get a total pressure of 138 kilopascals. What is the partial pressure of gas B? To solve this, we take the total pressure equals 46 plus the partial pressure of B, take the difference of the total and partial pressure of A, and we see that the partial pressure of B is 92 kilopascals. The ideal gas law applies to the total pressure of a mixture of gases, P total equals N total RT over V, and to each of the components of the mixture separately, P sub I equals N sub I RT over V. If we take the ratio of P sub I over P total for a mixture of gases, we get the mole ratio N sub I over N total, which gives us the symbol chi. The result is similar to using the decimal version of a percent. The mole fraction of a component in a mixture of gases will always be less than 1.00 and is unitless. A 10.5 liter sample of gas at 292 Kelvin contains oxygen at 0.622 atm and N2 at 0.517 atm. Calculate the total number of moles of gas in the sample. To do this, first let's associate each of the quantities with their respective variables. We see V equals 10.5 liters, T equals 292 Kelvin, and we've got a couple of pressures here. To find the number of moles, we'll need the total pressure, which we can then drop into the ideal gas law to solve for total moles. For the total pressure, we get P total equals the partial pressure of oxygen plus the partial pressure of nitrogen equals 0 0.622 atm plus 0 0.517 atm equals 1.139 atm. Next, we'll rearrange the ideal gas law to calculate the number of moles of gas in the mixture. N total equals P total times V over RT. Dropping in the values, we get N total equals 1.139 atm times 10.5 liters divided by 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin times 292 Kelvin equals 0 0.499 mole to three significant figures. Continuing with this scenario, let's find out how many moles of oxygen are present in this mixture. Using the ideal gas law again, and the partial pressure of oxygen, we get N sub O2, or the moles of O2 gas, equal the partial pressure of oxygen times the volume divided by R times T. Dropping in the values for the partial pressure of O2, the volume, and the temperature to get the moles of O2 equal 0.622 atm times 10.5 liters divided by 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin times 292 Kelvin equals 
0.273 mole. We could also solve this problem using the relationship between partial pressure and the mole fraction. P sub i over P total equals the moles of component i over the total moles. To solve for moles of O2, we drop in the values for the partial pressure of O2, 0.622 atm, the total pressure of 1.139 atm, and the total moles of 0.499 moles. Rearranging and solving for moles of O2, we get N sub O2 equals 0.622 atm times 0.499 moles divided by 1.139 atm equals 0.273 moles. Gases that are only slightly soluble in water are often collected over water. These gas samples will contain water vapor at a partial pressure that is dependent upon the temperature of the mixture. Water's vapor pressure is independent of the volume of liquid or gas in the mixture. The vapor pressure of water in these experiments is a temperature dependent property that is listed in tables that you can look up or will be given to you in quizzes and exams. Oxygen gas is collected over water in an apparatus such as that shown in figure 7.17 at a barometric pressure of 759 torr at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the pressure of the water vapor? What is the pressure of the oxygen gas? In a problem such as this, you'd first want to find the appropriate value in table 7.3. The vapor pressure of water at 25 Celsius is 23.756 torr. Using Dalton's law, we can calculate the pressure of oxygen gas in the mixture. Partial pressure of O2 equals the total pressure minus the pressure of H2O equals 759 torr minus 23.756 torr equals 735 torr. I'll leave you with the parting thoughts of the authors for this section of material.